Today we have Kareem Alamadeen. I hope I do pronounce that right. 5092 in the comment section wrote this. Thanks for the video. You're very welcome, kind sir. I'm upgrading from an LR3. Is it possible for you to do a video on what we can port from the three to the four? I have lots of new parts. Thanks again. Well, thank you for that comment because it really got the brain going last night when I uh, took a look at your comment. And I have done a little bit of research for you. And there's five things here that I've found that you might be able to switch forward. Um, one caveat though is it does depend on what year the LR3 is to what year the LR4 is. These are also uh, not peripheral things that you add on like, you know, uh, rooftop, uh, rooftop racks or tents or uh, stoves or fridges, things like that. These are not peripherals. These are things that are actually <clears throat> original uh, parts to the uh, particular vehicle. All right. So here's the first thing. Number one, uh, suspension components. Now, from my research, it seems that a fair amount of the suspension parts, including the air compressor, the shock absorbers, are mostly compatible across both models. So, obviously, you're going to want to inspect the parts on the LR3 to make sure that they are potent enough and reliable enough to transfer or at least to keep as secondary pieces should something on the LR4 break. Number two, uh, differentials and transfer cases. If you've used your LR3 fairly heavily off-road, again, I would advise that you double check to make sure that those pieces in particular are actually worthwhile to take off and store for some future use. Now, if you've recently changed those things over and you have fairly new pieces, then sure, no problem. But if you've got an original part on there that you've never changed and an LR3 is 15 years old, it may not be worthwhile for you to transfer those things over or to, to, to take it out and to swap it to a newer piece. Uh, the, to, to, the newer, to the newer vehicle, okay? Again, you want to be able to uh, inspect them for any minor damage, uh, wear and tear, etc. before reusing. Number three on the list, uh, drivetrain. The drivetrain seems, at least from what I've been able to deduce, is mostly okay. They're similar on diesel models, mostly. So if you're going from a diesel to a petrol, you might run into some trouble there. And what you'd want to do here is look at the individual part numbers to make sure that those part numbers are compatible with the part number that you have on the LR4. Or if you're looking for an LR4, make sure that those parts are compatible. So before you purchase the LR4, you might want to just go in and make sure you've jotted down the part numbers for that year to make sure they're compatible. Number four, brake components. The calipers and the discs tend to fit across all models, although my understanding is that the Discovery 4 does have slightly larger disc on certain trims of the vehicle. So, for example, an LR4 HSC has a slightly larger, I could be wrong, but I'm, I think this is true, they have a slightly larger uh, disc, okay? Now, this also depends on the, the wheels and tires that you have. <clears throat> My understanding is that an LR4 stock comes with, I think, a 19-inch wheel, and I've seen them as high as 20. Um, those may be stock, and the stock, uh, the stock wheel for an LR3, I think, I think is, a, is an 18-inch wheel. And so you want to, you want to make sure that, that you are 
if you're going to upgrade from the LR3 stock break and, and, and disc, that they are going to fit in the new system. Okay. Number five, uh, wheels and tires. Now the wheel fitments are generally the same. So you can uh, take your uh, wheels and tires from your LR3 and swap them over to an LR4. If you have an off-road set of wheels and tires, you can probably swap those over. Again, you want to make sure that the parts you have are, are swappable. Okay, so check the numbers to make sure there's a compatibility there. If there is, then you should be fine. Make sure, however, that you have the proper spacing in the wheel well in order to have that larger tire, uh, just, just as an FYI, okay? Uh, depends on how big a tire you have. I think the, the biggest tire that you can swap over, I think is about a 30 inch tire without doing anything inside the wheel well in order to, um, uh, in order to make a bigger tire fit, okay? But I'll leave that up to you. Kareem, thank you so much for the question. That was really good because I think it's a really, really good question. If you or anybody else has comments about what, what can be swapped out uh, mechanically between the LR3 and 4, please leave a comment down below because I'm sure I've missed some things. But thank you so much for the question. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the like. And for anybody else out there, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, next video, hmm, not sure what I'm going to be making, but maybe one of your comments will lead me to the next video. Thanks very much, everybody. Have a great day. Peace.